Earning $1,000 plus a day isn't tough once you understand this Facebook ad hack. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the structure, the architecture, the breakdown of what it takes to be able to make that happen. Um, when you understand these few principles, Hey, this is Ping Jun here, and today in this video, what we are going to be doing is I'm going to show you an exact breakdown of a million dollar funnel and how this funnel makes over a thousand dollars each day. When you understand these numbers, I'm, I'm also going to be walking you through um, the campaigns, the actual ads, the numbers behind it, and what it, it takes to be able to make a thousand dollars or more a day. And I know that for some of you, if you're an absolute beginner, this seems like for some people, a really far-fetched, unrealistic number. And understand that this is this is all relative, right? This could be $100 a day, this could be $10,000 a day, but it all comes back down to these few principles. Now, in short, it comes back to this one sentence. In fact, you might want to write it down. And it's all about creating the thing that sells the thing. That's right. Ping, you might be saying, Ping Jun, what does that even mean? It doesn't even make sense. Well, here's what I mean. So for this first funnel, this first funnel is a, a funnel that has done well over a million dollars in sales. And if you were to take a look at the breakdown, okay, now the breakdown of the funnel, you're gonna notice is there's these first three steps. Now, these are the first, the, the three main steps, but basically what it is, if you take a look at this, it is a funnel where I created a thing, which in this case here is, a book to sell the thing that I actually want to sell, which in this case here, which is the second upsell, um, is a $97 recurring a month. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you could be thinking about selling something that could be a tough sell. That could be you know, a $5,000 item. It could be a $3,000 per month agency done for you service. It could be a $10,000 implementation or consultation to work together with you or your company or your organization. It could be a, like in this example here, a $97 per month offer. And this is the mistake many marketers make. What marketers do is they try to utilize ads to straight away sell the thing that they wanna sell. So I'd like you to imagine this. I'd like you to imagine, just pause one second, okay? So imagine that right now, we have never met, and then all of a sudden, one day, you are on Facebook, and on Facebook, you're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling through your feed, and all of a sudden, my face pops up, and I'm like, hey everybody, this is Ping Jun here, and I know we've never met, but one of the things that I do is I run a digital marketing agency, and for $97 a month, I wanna be able to share with you um, the latest strategies on what's working right now together with the ad of the month, and the entire investment is only $97 a month. Now, chances are, if that was our first point of contact, that $97 per month sale would be tough. Why? Because the risk and the barrier to entry is, is high, especially if you've never met and there was never any trust or credibility built. So, however, in this case here, so rather than selling the thing that I really wanna sell, which in this case here is a $97 per month recurring, what I did was, and this is what you need to be doing, is you need to be running ads not to the thing that you actually want to sell because that thing could be a tough sell. It could be, a, again, it could, you could be an agency looking to market your $5,000 per month digital marketing services. You could be a $97 per month offer. It could be some sort of you know, high ticket. But the problem what most people do is they run ads straight to this thing right here, which is the incorrect move to do. So rather than selling the thing, I created a thing instead, another thing, which is low risk, which delivers massive value, which in this case here is a book at $7.95, right? If somebody lives in the US, it's $7.95. Overseas, we ship anywhere in the world, it's $14.95. Now, based on this, because this is much lower risk, you'll notice when I, we come back to the stats in a second, you're gonna notice that there's going to be a small percentage of people that is going to take me up on this offer, right? So there's one more step in the, in the middle over here, which was, I've got two upsells. So I created a thing to sell upsell, there's upsell number one and upsell number two, of which this $97 per month, that's the offer and that is the thing that I actually wanna sell. And if you think about it, many companies, entrepreneurs, 
have utilized this model and done it very, very well. If you take a look at, say, for example, somebody like Russell Brunson, who has now taken ClickFunnels um, to over 150,000 active users, their, their sales is about 100 million a year. And if you take a look at their business model, you will see that how they got that level of growth is utilizing this. So rather than sending people to your software, which is ClickFunnels at $97 a month, just notice how they created a thing, something else, to sell the thing that they actually want to sell. So what do they do? They have things like uh, Russell Brunson has his book, like dot-com secrets, traffic secrets, expert secrets. And you'll notice that all these books, the one thing it does, it's constantly pushing people to the recurring. Sometimes it could be a webinar, right? Where he packages training and it comes with six months to 12 months of thick funnels. The point I'm trying to make is, the first thing you gotta understand that when it comes to your ad promotion, you wanna think about can you create a thing that sells the thing that you want to sell? So in this case over here, if we were to go back looking at some of the numbers again, um, by the way, guys, if you are new to the channel, uh, what makes this channel different is that I don't teach theory. I actually just show you the stuff that I actually do. And if you're enjoying this content so far, be sure to smash the like button. It does help our channel out so that YouTube recommends this to more people. Um, and smash the subscribe bell notification button as well if you want to be notified for more videos just like this one, okay? End of commercial break. So let's take a look at our screen here again. And you might notice, okay? So first of all, these are the first, these are like the main steps, okay? Um, now, some of you, Sherlock Holmes could be saying, wait a second, Ping Jun, this... 1.3 million here, this doesn't really add up to 1.3. Well, genius, it is because there's still other steps here in the funnel. That's minor, you know, we've been, we're always constantly testing stuff um, on the steps uh, in the funnel. But you'll see that the majority are on these first three steps, okay? So these first three steps, if you take a look at it, is coming from the angle of, well, the first one, what is it? This is the free book. So some of you could be saying, well, Ping Jun, I'm not an author and I have no intentions to be an author, so this thing doesn't work for me. Now understand that I'm not asking you to be an author or to publish books. This is about creating the thing that sells the thing that you really wanna sell, right? So for example, you could be in beauty and makeup and rather than selling that high ticket thing, whatever it might be for you, perhaps you could utilize or source for makeup brushes from AliExpress um, or from China and give away these brushes for free where people just covered shipping and you barely just broke even. But what if you could make the profit and the margin comes from your upsells? So for example, if you were to take a look at this, you'll see that the thing that I really wanna sell, what is it? It's the $97 recurring a month. Now, if you've run any type of ads to a recurring, you know that in most cases, it's a tough sell. And most businesses bleed money on the upfront, uh, on the front end, in order to acquire a paying customer. Right? That's that's usually what happens, in most cases. Um, and that's why a lot of businesses and companies might require venture capitalists or investors to come in to pump in that initial capital because they expect to bleed on the front end. Okay. Now, the reason why I don't need to list up my company, the reason why I don't need funding is because this changes everything. When you understand this, which is basically acquiring a customer and getting paid to acquire a customer rather than paying money to acquire a customer, that's when everything changes. Okay. So if you watch till the end of this video and I show you the ads, you'll find out exactly why that is the case. So you'll notice that out of the 15,000 customers over here, when I'm creating all these different funnels, the thing that I want to sell over here is this $97 per month. Now, getting 1,500 people at $97 a month compounded over time, over three months, six months, one year, three years, now that adds up a lot to a lot. And by the way, when a person renews, that number is not reflected over here. So this is just the front end sales. It does not take into account the back end or the recurring and average card value, which is probably the most important number over here. It is basically how much a customer is worth whenever they go through this funnel, okay? So wouldn't you agree that if every time you could give this free item away, right? Whatever it may be, whether it's a makeup brush, whether it's a book, whether it's a, you know, a small physical premium, 
every time you could give that thing away for free where people just barely broke even um, and you could make $82 just on the front end, wouldn't you agree that would be that a, a really um, solid business model? So here's what people don't, who don't understand a business thinks, okay? People who don't understand a business would say, well, you know, sometimes I, I get these comments on my ad saying, you know, um, this guy is saying it's free but charges $70.95 for shipping. Let me tell you guys something, okay? So the truth is when people, people might think that that's where the margin is and the reason for that is because the truth is Amazon spoiled everything. They spoiled the market. And every consumer out there thinks that there's no shipping cost and shipping is just free because that's what these big boys have done to spoil the market and consumers and consumers today are spoiled. However, if I really did take into account my cost of printing and my shipping, if I were to ship internationally and if I were to ship it to like say South Africa or anywhere in the world, there are some countries that really does cost me, you know, $10, $12 to ship to these countries. So. The truth is, we barely break even on the front end, but what we are doing is we are creating this thing here. So this over here, we don't make any money off this, but where we do make the man our money is by creating the thing that sells the thing. Now, notice, not everybody is gonna take me up on this offer, only 11.62%. Which granted, you know, not everybody is gonna stay being a you know a paid customer forever. But this is how you get paid to acquire a buyer. And understand something. This is again just on the front end, it does not include the fact that I'm building a list, a list of very qualified buyers, right? I'm also building a list of you know fifty-eight thousand people on, on this step as well, right? So I'm building a list. It does not take into account that when, when these buyers try my product and if they like it, they would be buying other products in the future, coming back, right? So this is just on the front end. So looking at the ads, okay, we'll take a look at the ads in a second, right? So this is some of the ad campaigns over here. Now, a very important number to understand when it comes to this, implementing this strategy is just understanding, well, then what is your cost per result? So for example, this funnel over here, which by the way, if you wanna be able to get this same exact funnel right below this YouTube video, um, I'm including the, the exact share funnel so that you'll be able to have this same funnel, the architecture, the infrastructure, the breakdown, the price points sent to your ClickFunnels account. All you gotta do is just go check out the share funnel in the link in the description box below, okay? so. Uh, you'll notice that on, on, on the, this column over here, it says cost per result. Now, what is, what is a result? A result could be a lead, a sale, a purchase, a strategy call. Now, in this case here, the result is, is a sale, right? So notice now, I understand my numbers, right? Guys, the path to scaling is all math. And as you can see over here, it says here $50, $45, $46. And based on these different campaigns, I can tell how much does it cost me to acquire a customer, right? So this campaign cost me $52, $45, $43. So they would all have a different cost associated to acquiring customer. However, because I understand my numbers, notice, what is this? Average cut value. If you've ever watched my videos, my training, I've, I've talked about this in the past. These are the two most important numbers you have to know in your business. What is it? Number one, how much does it cost to acquire a customer? And over here, how much is an average customer worth. Now, what does this tell me? It means that for this campaign here that I have spent, say, $24,000 on, I am spending $43 to acquire a customer, and a customer is worth, on average, $82 on the front end, which does not include future upsells, doesn't include the fact that it could come back three years later, does not include the fact that I'm building a list, does not include the fact that there's recurring on the back end, this is just on the front end, right? So let me ask you this, if you could pay $43 to acquire a customer, and of course there's gonna be some cost like printing and shipping, but for, just for simplicity purposes, right? If you could spend $43 to acquire a customer and a customer is worth $82, how much money would you spend? Understand that when it comes to Facebook ads, it's not about budget. Many times people don't understand this game things, oh, you know, Pingu, but I, I don't have the budget to spend on ads. It's not about having the budget. It is about having the ability to build up a system that allows you to put $1 in and get back $2 out very conservatively on the front end. And if you can do that, that 
is when you can start making a thousand dollars at least minimum and if you've seen my stuff you know uh, you know that i'm actually being very conservative um, and this is what we've done to scale to, you know, millions of dollars in different ad accounts, not just running ads for people. That's not what I do, but selling our own products, physical or digital as well as services, right? Does that make sense? So one last thing is, is basically this then. If, if I were to go here, right, ads for these campaigns, you'll notice that, in fact, I just saw this. Now, this is going to shock you, but... One of the things that I noticed as I was, you know, looking at all these different ad campaigns, and this is gonna shock some of you. If you take a look at this, I have in this ad account alone, there is 25,116 ads. Now you could be thinking, like, Pinjun, isn't that a little bit of an overkill? Here's why. So 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 understand that why is there 25,000 different ads? It is because what I'm doing now with, with this setup, when when you guys understand this now. So think about like these two numbers, how much does it cost to acquire a customer, right? So now I have all these different ads out there, okay? 25,000 of them, granted some of them could be, you know, um, it, it, it might be very similar, it could be duplicates, but ultimately there's all these different ads and all these different ads based on the different targeting, based on the retargeting, based on the messaging, based on the video, based on the write-up, they would all have a different cost of acquiring a customer. Right? So some some ad, maybe it's $35. Maybe some ads was 40. Maybe one of the ads, maybe that video totally sucked. Maybe that video was like, hey everybody, this is Ping Jun here and I have a really exciting product to share with you today. And if that was the ad, and if that ad sucked, then chances are the cost to acquire a customer might be $300, right? So they will all have different costs associated to acquire a customer. But when I send them into the funnel, guess what? The funnel, which is the basically the funnel pages, right? Low ticket, the thing that sells, the thing that I really wanna sell. And because I've got a sales process, which by the way, if you wanna get the same sales process, again, link in the description box. I understand on average that whenever a person goes to this sales process, how much an average customer is worth. And in this case here, it stands for the, the, the marketing terminology is average cut value. And I know that on average, they're worth, you know, 80 plus dollars whenever they go through this. So what that means is my team is just brief to know that to do this, which is basically if we can acquire a customer at $40, we would pay Facebook all day, every day, right? If you can spend $1 to get back $2 in return next month, how much money would you spend? You spend everything, you liquidate everything, you'll sell both kidneys, you sell a house, your car, your kids, try to give it all to Facebook. Now, obviously there's diminishing returns, but the point I'm trying to make and is that ultimately, if you wanna scale ads to over $1,000 a day, this is what needs to happen. Now, one of the things that we are doing is, first of all, let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway is. One of the things that we're doing every single video is I'm picking one to three winners to give away my $2,000 course. And all you gotta do is let me know in the comments, type in run Facebook ads, and we're gonna be selecting one to three random winners. And be sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you really want to get really, really, really good at Facebook ads, be sure to binge watch my entire Facebook ads playlist that's gonna appear in front of you right now in five, four, three, two.